Team Toyota entered the 1991 Mickey Thompson Off-Road Truck Stadium Series as defending manufacturers and drivers points champions. Could they repeat still again in 91? Well, I think in any form of racing, every, every driver wants that number one. And uh, the year that we had in 1990 is going to be hard to beat. The season started well. Stewart took second place in Anaheim, then second again in San Diego, where Millen placed third. I don't think you have to be fastest all the time, but you must be the most consistent. You know, a top three placing in every race, I'm sure, can win a championship. In the next two races, Millen did better than a consistent top three. He took a first in Pasadena, then first again in Tempe, Arizona, where Stewart placed third. Team Toyota had an early season lead. Then, misfortune struck in the form of fluke mechanical problems. By mid-season, Toyota had slipped into a close second behind Dodge. However, at Oakland, the last event of the 10-race season, Team Toyota fought its way back, and the two teams were tied going into the final race of the evening. Uh, this is the end of the season. We have to win the championship for this one race. We have to beat those Dodges, and, and that's what we're out here for, and, and if it comes down to this last race, and that's what it's all about. Victory looked possible. By mid-race, Millen and Stewart had pulled out to a first and second place lead. Then Millen's Campbell broke. Stewart held his second place, but his points weren't quite enough. The champions were narrowly defeated. Nevertheless, the off-road competition showcased the continued excellence of Toyota's new V6 trucks. Taking off-road racing to the desert, Toyota's Iron Man, in fact, won the overall title in three of the four crown jewels of the SCORE HDRA series. The Nissan 400, the Baja 500, and the Nevada 500. Win or lose, Team Toyota is a very visible, very tough off-road competitor, providing inspiration and exciting entertainment to many, many Americans.